Okay, so today's very exciting for me because we are going to go do something. Um, I had to push Talon and push Logan and, to get them to do this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go hook this Jeep, which has got a V8 motor in it. It's a 392. You're probably going to know more about it than I do, but it sounds really good and it's very powerful. So we're going to hook this Jeep to a house with some tow straps and we're going to pull the house over. So I'm freaking excited about it. It's really fun. I hope I don't regret using this uh, Jeep to do that with. Uh, the motor's kind of dirty, but we're going to show it to you anyway. So um, it's Removing Pro's Demolition, and this is going to be fun. We sent a crew up here yesterday and we put straps all the way around these houses so we can pull them over. This is 51 acres in the middle of nowhere, so nobody's around, so we can kind of be goofy and it, it won't be so unsafe because there's nobody here that could get hurt. We set these guys up here, five, what was it, $500 worth of straps. Yeah. We had them strap all the houses and bring it out to like here so that we could just hook up to them and pull them over. Well, the homeless guy stole all of it. So when we got here this morning, Kenny uh, shows up early and, and they're still here. I wish I was here. It would have been an event, okay? So, um, but anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. So, remove a pro's demolition and there's Jet. What a beautiful property. Nine buildings out here. There's the house itself. Here we are setting up our straps. Like I said before, these homeless guys thought it would be cute to take all the work. We sent a crew out there all day long, putting straps around all these, getting ready for our Saturday. We're pretty busy all year round. I talk about us being slow, but slow to us is we're not running 25 crews, we're running 10 crews or 15 crews or 13 or whatever it is. How many times do you think it's gonna take for us to be able to pull this house over? So no cheating, no looking at the end, but how many times do you think we're gonna to have to take an attempt and pull it with the Jeep? There's a Sepio flexing. Yeah, that's funny. Lee's the cameraman's giving him crap, telling him to flex, so he's flexing for you. That's funny. These two outside ones, I want to come to a center and then go to that. Put a lot of pressure on one strap thing. How can we pick up this one and pull it at the same time? Or should I just go to it three different times? All right, so we give this a rat's chance in hacking, but we're gonna try it anyway. The house is really rotten. Go around and show them how rotten all these pilings are. Normally, you would never be able to do this and pull this down for sure. Whatever you think, bud, just hook it whatever way you think. You want to you want to strap that tree to that tree? No, I'm just saying if, if this comes over how it should, it's going to push that, which is going to make that go. Once that I make a Luba yeah. smash. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. If it does, you're getting a lottery ticket. Yeah. <laughs> All right. well, what do you think the chances that? A Jeep Rubicon 392 can pull a house off its foundation. What do you think the chances are? I guess we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. The only reason we think it might is because why? Because a lot of it's rotten. A lot of it's rotten. And it got shook from the storm. It's got rock. In the storm, you could see everything's kind of loose. So 
In the past, when I did this on the beach, we had a house that was up like this. It was on concrete pilings, but we had to fight it, and I had to rock it back and forth for like an hour and a half to get it to fall over, but it did fall over. So we're gonna see. I don't think it's gonna do it, but we're gonna find out, okay? So you're waiting for the rear end to come out. I don't see that happening, not even, there's no freaking way, no way. Now, ripping the hitch off, maybe. So here we go, we're getting ready. Uh, Lee's in there, we got the top down off the Jeep and we are gonna give it a try. So what we've done is we have connected these toe straps to a whole bunch of different uh, locations. Fortunately, we bought way more than we needed because we pulled a couple of them in half. But we're pulling like 10 different pilings all at the same time. So here we go, everybody's getting into position. Let's pee on it. <laughs> huh? So you're only getting this front post and then the ones on the side. Well, if you pull that front post out, then it'll pull that center one after. Hopefully. Okay. Can you stand there and direct? I'm right scared. in the circle? I ain't scared. You ain't scared? So if this don't work, we'll try the Raptor and then we'll use your Jeep. How's that? The only thing connected there was more or less in that one corner is just a PVC pipe. And it's holding up the corner of that house. We've knocked out so many of the pilings. Here we go. We're tugging on it. Logan jumped in the Jeep, jumped at the chance to beat up on that poor Jeep. It's coming. <laughs> It's going to fall over. Nice. Yeah. Watch out, he's going to come this way. Do it to it. One, two, three. That didn't work. <laughs> Look at that, Taylor. <laughs> two, three, go. <laughs> Bring it back. Unbelievable. What's holding it up? It's going to fall. The wind, When the wind blows, it's going to fall over. Oh, listen. Sepio, go over and push it. <laughs> oh, that thing rock. The wind's blowing it. It's that PVC is holding it. The PVC pipe. Watch out. Go. Here we go again. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. 
All right, here we go. I'm gonna back it up and do it again. I can't believe those straps are holding up. That's a lot of pressure. You know, that Jeep's got it right at 400 horsepower, just shy of 400 horsepower. It's pretty powerful. It sounds so good. There you go, and then we just pulled off the other major structural member off of that corner. Talon's nuts being up there pushing on it like that because there's literally PVC pipe on one side and about 10 two by fours and all the other structural members are all at the other end of the house. The house could have collapsed. The staircase is probably helping hold it up. But here we go, round 12. Let's see if we're gonna get it. When that thing hit, oh my God, it was like, it was impressive. So we show up, these guys steal our straps off here, the homeless people, how you like that? So we ended up having to strap this thing from underneath and uh, it's a chore. That's just an ordinary vehicle. It's got a motor in it, but it's an ordinary vehicle. So a Jeep pulled over this gigantic house and uh, I'm not sure what it did to my tread wear on my Jeep. Yeah. How do you ruin $1,000 worth of rims? Just go pull down a house. <laughs> so after this video, I had my detail guy detail this Jeep and he said, what in the world did you do to this thing? I got dirt in places there shouldn't be dirt and so on and so forth. He said, this is a street Jeep. You don't take it off the road. And he says, look at all the scratches you got in your $1,000 worth of rims. I'm like, well, I don't think they were $5,000, but look at, look at how the scratches are going to drive. They're ruined. I mean, I'm not going to worry about it. It's, to me, it's still just a Jeep, but it's, it's been, uh, what do they call it? It's not a virgin anymore. <laughs> You know, so Logan had a blast. We all had a bunch of fun. Uh, Remove a pros demolition. I've got a couple of videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. We pulled over a uh, stilt house out on Colm Road with a very powerful rock crawler Jeep. which has got one ton axles and stuff on it. It's also a V8. And then uh, we took that same house and we used a safe as a wrecking ball. And we beat the crap out of this house with it. We beat the house so bad that the house cracked in half. After that, we ran a truck and ramped into a building. Then we took the truck and set it on the roof. Then we took the truck and beat the crap out of the house with it. It's pretty good, it's fun. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe and leave us a like. I will see you on the next video.